Hi, this is Ranga Reddy. Uh, so this presentation is about target deployment port for IBM Rational Test Real Time. Hope uh, you know everybody knows RTRT what it does. So in this presentation, I am going to just give an introduction on RTRT and about TDP and what is host based testing versus target based testing <coughs> and types of TDPs <coughs> sorry <coughs> and some of my case studies so we asked RTRT mainly used for dynamic application testing so mainly it is used for white box testing so using RTRT you can perform runtime analysis component test and system test yeah but the main purpose of uh, uh, but the main users most of the users uh, uh, take this RTRT for testing MCDC coverage and unit testing so MCDC mostly in avionics and automotive segment in these domains people use to prefer RTRT for unit testing and it can be you know integrated with test management tools like uh, uh, RPM from IBM and requirement management tools like DOORS and RRC, RIC Pro and also it can be integrated with Eclipse and of course on Windows and Linux platforms so it also integrates some of development environments like Visual Studio or uh, uh, VxWorks like Embedded Workbench Code Composite Studio right and that's all I think um, because mainly those who see this presentation I prefer the no RTRT and now coming back to about this TDP so TDP is abbreviated word target deployment port and this is a customization of RTRT uh, for integrating with some target environment for enabling testing activities of course this package comes along with RTRT okay. a TDP is a separate editor uh, which enables you to write certain kind of scripts and uh, some programming and uh, of course TDP varies for environment to environment it is not that one TDP is developed for all environments no so you need to develop each TDP for each environment it depends on a lot of factors uh, like version of that development ID version of RTRT interface between target and host compiler tool chain linkers and its flags data retrieval mechanism how you get the test results from the target basically if you look at this uh, a window editor when you open up RTRT and start editor it looks like this it is having various uh, windows so one is on left side the navigation window and right hand side you have uh, three windows the top one is called help window and next one is content window where you can write your script or your programs for customization and this is a comment window you can write your own comments to remember what you have done during development of TDP and apart from this you need to uh, know certain script and language what are that the script uh, Perl is that only script that is used for a customization of this TDP and next coming to the programming language for which you are uh, going to do the testing 
this programming language could be C language so C language is required for uh, C, C++ based TDP and Java is required for Java and ADA for ADA based TDPs and version compatibility you know TDP carries some version which is compatible with corresponding version of RTRT so each uh, TDP uh, that we develop uh, will be having the version equal to the version of RTRT so higher version TDP is not compat compatible so when you have say uh, RTRT version 7 and your TDP is having RTRT 8 so you cannot use the TDP for version 7 RTRT if lower version TDP that means if you have uh, lower version 2003 or lower version of say RTRT is version 7 if you have lower version of TDP then you can upgrade it to 7 version 7 so that's what the pop-up window shows uh, when you open up certain certain lower version TDPs it will ask you to for upgradation when you click on up update button so it will automatically update to the version equal to the RTRT but when you have higher version TDP you cannot make it to lower version there is no downgrade compatibility now coming to host based and target based testing so you know there are uh, uh, as an application is concerned there are two types of uh, testings the host based testing is done for the applications designed for PC based executions so you know we have uh, some application real time application which can execute on PCs some some are execute on uh, a firmware so the application those are those can be executed on PC so such kind of uh, application testing is called host based testing so sometimes host based testing also performed for the application designed for microcontroller based executions so this will happen if that code can be executable on the PC so this can be done uh, when there is no hardware dependent function calls so such kind of logical functions or some mathematical calculation related function can be executed on a host PC when target is not available for testing then people will normally prefer for uh, host based testing but it is advisable advisable to conduct target based testing only if the application is an embedded application so some types of TDPs so if you look at uh, based on the uh, data retrieval data retrieval from where uh, from the target board of course so based on the data retrieval uh, this data is a test data so TDPs are divided into three types one is standard mode TDP which requires file system should be available on the target and next one is uh, user mode TDP uh, this you can use any API to retrieve the data from target if you have an interface between host and target say ethernet or uh, serial communication or any other mechanism you should be using that API to uh, retrieve the data from target and other one is if there is the above two are not available then you should be having a debug script should be available so that you can retrieve the test data these are the three types based on data retrieval and other other criteria is execution environment based on execution environment you can also divide this types of TDP one is host based TDPs next one is simulator based TDPs and target based TDPs and coming to my case studies 
the some of this tdp side developed for corporate clients are uh, one keel environment for 80 i8 microcontroller 8086 controllers there are various of course and one is code warrior then soft tune vx words for power pc or intel boards and links os for power pc code composer studios for various microcontrollers ir workbench of course for different microcontrollers and uh, our continuation to these green hills hughes hitachi embedded workbench hughes stands for image uh, craft ide MPLAB ID, PyCo OS, MQX, ThreadX, these are some of the TDPs that I developed for corporate clients. If you look at government clients, uh, there are uh, Visual DSP, this is a DSP based uh, application uh, which runs on uh, ADSP processor. Uh, IC386 compiler tool chain is a very old uh, compiler tool chain for which TDP is developed and VXWorks, MPLAB, RT Linux, Lynx OS and Code Warrior. Okay. So most of the uh, TDPs that I developed are uh, most of them are target based and few of them are simulator based. Okay. And thank you. And uh, you can reach me at my mail ID or phone if you have any clarifications. Thank you so much.